Today we're going to talk about how to identify the components of your hub, including the bearings and grease seal. Starting off with the wheel bearings, the first thing you'll want to look for when identifying a bearing is going to be the number on the back of the bearing itself. If you're not able to find this number, or it's been worn off by wear and tear within the hub, you can refer back to a digital caliper. You will use this digital caliper to find the inner diameter of the bearing which will tell us what style of bearing it is. When we measure this, we can see that we are getting 1.062 inches inner diameter. Now, if you do not have access to a digital caliper, a tape measure can also be used to find the inner diameter. When using a tape measure, there's going to be some specific rules you want to follow in order to get the accurate measurement. First off, you won't want to start finding the inner diameter by pressing up the front of the tape to it or trying to hold it above it. You want to start with the first inch. Line up the first inch on the wall of the inner bearing and refer over to the other side eyeballing up both sides as best as you can. Here you can see we are getting one and one sixteenth of an inch, which equals out to 1.062, which is what we were getting on the digital caliper. The next thing you'll need to identify is your grease seal. A number can also be found on the seal, helping to identify it. If one is not visible, you can easily measure it as well. To identify it using measurements, you'll need to find the outer and inner diameter. To start off by finding the outer diameter, you can take your digital caliper, and this gives us 2.565 outer diameter. Now to find the inner diameter of it, the rubber can be worn out, so it's best to refer to the spindle on your trailer axle itself. When measuring the spindle, take your digital caliper and clamp it over the part of the spindle that the seal slides over. When doing so to this spindle, it'll give us a measurement of 1.72. Again, if you don't have access to a digital caliper, you can find the inner and outer diameter of the grease seal using a tape measure. Simply go from outside to outside to find the outer diameter, giving you roughly 2 and 9 sixteenths, which comes out to be 2.252, which is only slightly less than the correct outer diameter of 2.256, but it is close enough to where when you're given the options, you'll be able to choose correctly. When attempting to identify the inner diameter of the grease seal, refer back to the spindle. Take your tape and measure from the outside to the outside of where the grease seal slides onto and that will give you roughly one and six eighths which comes out to just slightly above 1.72 but it is close enough in the ballpark that you'll be able to identify when given the options to choose from.